Hello, everyone. Today we will have two poems in Zhou Song, the anthem songs for Zhou Dynasty. There are three sub chapters in the Zhou Song, and、uh, we are still in the first chapter, Wen Wang Zhi Shi, the ten poems, the ten songs of King Wen. So basically. This chapter is the anthem for King Wen and King Wu. The first eight poems is for King Wen. The last two poems is for King Wu. Basically, the anthem songs is for the first two kings, the King Wen and King Wu, and all kinds of gods. So the Zhou people they believe in many gods, the gods in. In heaven, the gods on earth,、uh, namely the gods of mountain, the gods of big rivers, and uh, the bo- uh, the gods of the earth, and、uh, the ancient songs basically is either for the gods or for their ancestors. In Chinese, 神鬼 the divinity and、uh, the ghost. So the ghost is a very very critical. Uh, believing in the ancient China because the ghost is their ancestors, and the Zhou Dynasty established the tradition for the ancient China、uh, that they are much much more focused, or they are much much more put their belief. In their ancestors rather than gods, so basically the ancient China, they have a religion. First thing first, they believe in many gods. the The cloud is a god, a god. The thunder is god, and the, there is a big god. Just like an emperor, he rule over all everything. Shang Di in Chinese, Shang Di, and on the earth there are also many gods. The、uh, big mountain they have god. The big river they have god. The soil, the earth they have god. So the Chinese believe in many gods as well as their ancestors and the. Zhou Dynasty、uh, fundamentally changed the believing that the the、uh, may, which makes the Chinese believe in their ancestors rather than the gods. And finally, the、uh, the Chinese today we don't most of us don't believe anything, and some of them still believe in their ancestor very very few. And so,、uh, some, they believe in、uh, the Christians or Muslims,、uh, whatsoever. So or Buddhism. So, but the, still,、uh, the believers、uh, consist a small portion of the whole population. So when we read the songs, the poems in Zhou Song, the anthem songs, we should be very consciousness that. These poems, these songs, is for someone,、uh, for their ancestors, or for gods.、Uh, it's a quite, or it is a religious behavior. The songs for God, but in China, we, in somehow, where the our ancestors was treated as the god. Some outstanding. Phenomena or features in these anthem songs. First thing first, they don't care about rhyme, especially the poems in the front list. There's no rhyme at all because all these songs is real songs.、Uh, every of every poem or every song they have a music when they. Saint, when they、uh, read, they are always with music. And、uh, the second things, there is no 
chapter or no paragraph. So the whole song is in one paragraph or in one chapter. And the third, the sentence is with longer or short sentences. It doesn't matter. Which means they put all their focus to their ancestors or to gods. This complies to the philosophy of the Zhou people that when they doing the most grand ceremony to their ancestors or to gods, which is the most serious time for the Zhou people. Everything should be simple in their primitive uh, outlook or in their most primitive uh, appearance. So there's a word in Zuo Zhuan. It describes the things like this. Qing Miao, Mao Wu, Da Lu, Yue Xi, Da Geng Bu Zhi. So which means the Grand Temple, the most uh, royal for the most uh, serious, the most glorious temple for the ancestors is with the hatched roof. The roof was with straw rather with the fine tiles. And uh, the most grand chair out is with very simple material material uh, sheet or carpet so because the car the chair out was uh, with laid with the carpet and uh, the last is da geng bu zhi da geng which means the sacrifice the food f for their ancestors for the god which is the most uh, serious most ground sacrifice, the food for the most ground sacrifice, they don't make it with of flavor. They don't add any ingredients. So the lamp, the bull was cooked with its very original and primitive flavor. So this philosophy was also reflected in the Zhou Song, the ancient songs for Zhou Dynasty. The songs or the sentences should not care about anything of the writing techniques. The only thing you should care is about the substance, the real feeling and content. Okay, the first poem, 我将, 我将我想, 为羊为牛, 为天其幼之, I'm holding up, I'm offering my sacrifice, those lambs, those uh, bulls, it's for the heaven, and the heaven will protect and take them. So the characters, uh, some special characters here. Jiang means to use both hands to hold up, normally above your head. So that's the typical gesture in a big sacrifice. Wo xiang, xiang means to offer sacrifice. Wei means nothing. It's a uh, particle words, so it, it's just like uh, this and all that. So I'm sacrifice. So this sentence means I'm sacrifice this sheep, this cow, uh, bulls, to the heaven. So the with the sheep, lamb, and uh, bulls, we know this is the most grand ceremony. Uh, there is a very very detailed uh, code of conduct for different kind of sacrifices. We have a, still have a book on that, Li Ji. So whenever they have the, both the bull and lamp, 
That means this is the most grand and the serious ceremony. And uh, uh, in the end of the sentence, it mentioned very clearly, Wei Tian Qi Yu Zhi, the heaven. So they, they sacrifice this bull and lamb to heaven. And the, another character is very key act character, Yu. Yu means to protect, to give fortune, to give luck. To black's luck for someone. So in today it was written as、uh, like this way with a people a, a, a radical in in the left side, right? But in the ancient time, you basically means two things. It means a higher level people, the relationship between a higher level people. To a lower people level, he not only protect this person, but also the life and dies was on the hand of the、uh, upper level people. And、uh, you clearly tell us that the it means the law. Or to kill someone from their left side.、Uh, so there's a、uh, little hard to understand. So let me give you an example. So in the pre-Qin Dynasty, when they take the captives, or normally they kill their captives in a war, but they will take their left. Ears with them and offer the left ears of the、uh, their enemies, the killed enemies, in their grand temple as the sacrifice. Right. So why they take the left ears? Because just imagine when the two people was fighting each other. Most of people are right-handed, right, and.、Uh, You use your right hand to hit to cut on the left side of that person. If you can kill that person, which means you、uh, you punch, you、uh, you stick, you、uh, cut on the left side of your enemy, and which also prove proves you are the ruler, right? You are、uh, superior to that person. So finally,、uh, the right side means much a high level position. So and also it finally it means to protect. So in any means it derives from the. Uh, gestures that in those days most people are right-handed, and、uh, the right hand means the power, means the rules, and、uh, the left means who are ruled or who was a lower level person. Sentence: Wei Tian Qi Yu Zhi basically has two meanings. First thing first, the Heaven is capable of killing. The lamp, the bull, was killed and enjoined by the heaven. Right, the killing means is the source of power and law. The heaven should have that capability. And also, the heaven provide protection to us. So. At the same time, we are protected by the heaven. Not only ruled by the heaven, we are also protected by the heaven. So that's the very, very、uh, substance or the real meaning of power, ruling or king. Okay, the next sentence. 一世行文王之典，日进四方。We practice the code of conduct from King Wen, and we 
made everywhere in peace. We keep everywhere in peace. So let's focus on the characters. Yi shi xing is three verbs. So yi is we follow the rituals. Shi is also sort of rituals. I'm not quite sure what what kind of rituals. And the xing is we executed the laws of King Wen. Xing is quite uh, similar to modern criminal laws. So basically, all the criminal laws, the rituals, all the all kinds of code of conduct, is the is a code of conduct for the Zhou people. So basically, the it tells us very clearly that it's by the heaven at the first place, right? The heaven dominates everything, and also by the code of conduct from King Wen. Thus, we have the peace all over the country. Okay, let's continue the third sentence. Yi Gu Wen Wang, Ji You Xiang Shi Xiang Zhi. Yi very likely is also means to rule or to dominate. Gu means the blessing word from. Ancestors. So here it tells us very clearly. In this ceremony, the King Wen has a actor, which was so called as Shi, and、uh, so this actor will say some bl- blessing words to the people who in the,、uh, attend the sacrifice to attend this grand ceremony, and.、Uh, Gu is the term refers to the blessing word from the actors. So it is a very very delicate word for that blessing word from an actor of the ancestors. And、um, uh, after the Zhou Dynasty, this word is this character was not used anymore because there's no such rituals anymore. Okay, let's continue. So, at the current, at the present, at this site, the actor of our ancestors, King Wen, he blessed us, and he also, Ji You Xiang Zhi, Ji means he finished all the things, some things. He finished protect us, and he finished to enjoy it. Enjoy what? The sacrifice, the lamp, the bulls, and、uh, this is also one of the tradition established in the Zhou Dynasty. So they believe the King Wen and the King Wu was with the gods. So when they make their sacrifice to God, King Wen and King Wu was also enjoying their the sacrifice. Okay, the last sentence. 我其素叶为天之威，于时保之。I'm working day and night. I'm afraid of the power from the heaven, and I will protect the protected all the time, and I will protect it. Everywhere. So Su Ye is a very familiar word for us already, right? Day and night. So here is the thing: Who is I in this poem? Could be the witch, or on behalf of the king, or could be the king himself. Very likely, the third king in the、uh, Zhou Dynasty, Cheng Wang, the king Cheng. So the So this is the song from the king to their ancestors, as well to the heaven. So this is a very very short poem with lot of informations and with real、uh, believings in it. And、uh, today 
most of the Chinese don't understand it very much because the philosophy,、uh, the morals changed fundamentally. But for the Zhou people in those days, they understand it very well. My life, my assets, my family was in the hand of heaven, and in the hand of King Wen, and finally in the hand of the current king. And all my fortune, my asset, my happiness is also from the king, from the heaven. From the ancestors, so that's the real information delivered from this point, and this is also a swear, a promise, an oath to the heaven, to the ancestors. Okay, the second poem, Shi Mai. Shi Mai qi bang hao tian qi zi zhi. So, if we we are reading in a modern sentence sequence, it should read like this: Qi bang shi mai, hao tian qi zi zhi. This state has a long history over time. The vast heaven brought up this state. Shi. In the Zhou Dynasty, it means season, and finally, it means the history, the time. Mai means a long, long away. And Hao Tian Qi Zi Zhi Zi is equivalent as Zi, and this basically means to brought up a small kid and、uh, to. Its adult state. So Hao Tian Qi Zi Zhi tells us very clearly, the vast heaven brought up the Zhou state and make make it as an adult. So、uh, if a state is an adult, what is it? It's a dynasty. It's a country, right? So the first sentence is very precise and. Is very clearly tell us. It recalls the long history of the Zhou people, the Zhou state. Okay, the second sentence. 时又续有周，伯言正之，莫不正迭。So it's the heaven protect and、uh, sequence the Zhou people. So we have. Explained the character Yu. It means to rule over as well as to protect. Xu is to sequence. The sequence is a very very key moral value in the Zhou Dynasty. So the people has a sequence. The nobles, the normal people, the slaveries, and they, when they doing th- things. They have some of the ordering or sequences, and、uh, when are talking about state or country, they also have sequence. The Shang Dynasty has its sequence, and the Zhou Dynasty has its sequence. So, in a very、uh, in a Chinese、uh, idiom words,、uh, we we like to say, "Ah,、uh, 皇帝轮流坐 So everybody could be a king, and、uh, it's up to. Uh, uh, sometimes he will has his turn to be a king. So th- this is all starts from something in the Zhou Dynasty. So the first sentence, 时又又续有周 the heaven protect the and the sequence the Zhou Dynasty. 伯言正之 so the Heaven ordered,、uh, quickly ordered to、uh, shaken the Zhou state, and、uh, not a one, not a country was shaken and frightened. So this is a normal explanation. Zhen was means to shaken something. Die means to 
frighten some uh, someone. But if we look to the very very original meaning of these two character in the Yi Jing, Zhen uh, basically refers to the action in the springs that all the creatures are weakening by the spring wind, by the spring rains, maybe a thunder. It not necessarily mean a thunder. So here, I think precisely, it means the heaven use its power to weaken and let the junior plant of the Zhou state to go up above the earth, which means the small junior plant waked, uh, wake up in the soil and uh, grows. And the more bu zhen die, so all the creatures and the heaven, they all grow up and uh, they all became more mature. Die is may very likely means something with mature and uh, they founded their foundation. Okay, in the next sentence. Huai rou bai shen ji he qiao yue. So the heaven also care about all the gods, hundreds of gods, the rivers, the big mountains. So in the literature, in the Zhou dynasty, the heaven always refers to the god, Shang Di, the most. So he's just like an emperor. There are so many gods. The Shang Di, the heaven, is just like the emperor, emperor of all the gods. And there's also all kinds of gods. They are in charge of different uh, capabilities regarding to the nature. Some god will in charge of making a thunder, the god of thunder. And some god was in charge of to making a rain, the god of rain. But they are all under the order of the Shang Di, the heaven. So here, basically, it means not only the Zhou people, the Zhou dynasty was under the order, was ruled by the heaven. Hundreds of gods, the rivers, the big mountains, they are all under the rules, rulings of the heaven. Wei Wang, Yun Wang, Wei Ho. Yun is to order, to make order. Wang is also a verb to ruling with the heaven's way. So Wang in that time, in the Zhou dynasty, means to ruling with the heaven's way. So, which means the, all the orders f- is from the heaven down to the earth. And the kings, who are they? They are the son of heaven. So they are part of the mandate. They are part of this social uh, structures. And uh, the orders from the king represents the heaven. So everybody, not only the people, the human beings, but also the hundreds of gods, the rivers, the uh, big mountains is part of that structure. Wei Ho, Ho is the king's in the ancient times. So here, Yun Wang Wei Ho tells very clearly, since the very ancient times, the heaven make his order down to the earth through the kings. The next sentence, 
，明少有周，时序在位。The heaven enlightened the Zhou Dynasty. The heaven, uh, promote the in da the Zhou Dynasty, and、uh, it sequenced the Zhou Dynasty. It's, uh. Ruled the Zhou Dynasty to make it on its position. What position? The position of the king, right? The position as the son of heaven, 天子 So Ming enlightened Shao to promote, uh, to broadcast. Shi is to ruling, to rule over. Xu the sequence. So it tells us very clearly. It's also consistent to the previous sentence. It's all by the heaven, and it, it, at this time, the Zhou people was put on the position of as a king. 载籍干戈，载高公师。We collect all the weapons. We collect. We put all the archery into the big puzzles. So, 载 to do something, 集 to collect something, to collect something together. 干戈 is all the weapons, the spears,、uh, the axes, sort sort of things, and the 弓师 is the archery, and the Gao refers to the puzzle, the big puzzle, to store the archery. So these two sentences means they will collect and put away their weapons because the war is all over. It's the time to build up their country and enjoy their happy life. The war is over. 载籍干戈 Remember these words whenever you want to、um, to offer a piece to a Chinese. 载籍干戈 a perfect word. Let's collect all our weapons and、uh, put it in the, our warehouse. Let don't touch the weapon anymore. Okay, the next sentence. 我求宜得，似于时下。So the only thing I want, I beg from the heaven, is the virtue and fortune. So it's really hard to explain the character 宜得 and.、Uh, There's so many sayings, and the meaning might changed or lost its very original meanings. But from my point of view, Yi means the capability to serve the God. The De means the capability to find the right path. So Yi finally means to. Protect their dynasty, to let the king to stay on his position all the time, forever. And the de means path. So what does right path mean? The right path to more prosperous, the right path to more、uh, happier, the right path to more、uh, wealthy, right? And、uh, so. Another character si means to lay something down around somewhere to cover somewhere, and、uh, so when they lay a set of dishes on the table, so you can say this word. And si yu shi xia shi means the season, so it refers to the time,、uh, and here it means forever, right? Xia, I'm. Uh, it's a term that the Zhou people call to their home places. So where is their home places? The basin from Shanxi to Shanxi Province,、uh, separated by the Yellow River. So basically, 
this area was normally so called as Xia, and、uh, the Zhou people are very proud of to call themselves as people who live on the area of Xia. The last sentence, Yun Wang Bao Zhi Yun, the order from heaven, Wang, the action of to take the order from the heaven and make it down to the earth, down to the human. So Yun Wang means to let this Zhou Dynasty to secure it. Secure what? Secure. The homeland, the country, the dynasty, and most importantly, the position of the king. Okay, that's all about it. It's a little bit boring, right? It's all about political things, the interests, the positions, the future. So, in some way, it's ugly, but in some other ways. It's a life of, it's a matter of life and death for everyone, right? Even for the king of the Zhou, in one day, the last king would be slaughtered or lost his lost his position to another king. And、uh, what makes this poem a little bit different in the、uh, Wen Wang Zhi Shi is. It doesn't mention the King Wen and the King Wu. So this poem was purely for the heaven. So it is very very rare in the ancient songs of the Zhou Dynasty. Okay, that's for it. Bye bye.